Hey! Welcome to I'd Smash That Recaps. Today I am bringing you a sci-fi slash thriller film released in 2016, Spectral. Spoiler alert! You've been warned. DARPA researcher Dr. Mark Klein has flown to Moldova, where the US military is currently deployed in the ongoing Moldovan war, as his expertise is required regarding a line of hyperspectral imaging goggles of his design that have been issued to troops there. After arriving at a U.S. military airbase on the outskirts of Chisinau, he meets with General Orland and CIA officer Fran Madison. He is shown footage captured by the troops' goggles of a mysterious, translucent, humanoid apparition that kills almost instantly. Knowing it is not interference, Orland wants Klein's expert opinion before forwarding the findings and footage to his superiors. Conversely, Madison believes the sightings to be members of the insurgency wearing an advanced form of active camouflage and has orders from her superiors to retrieve a sample. To get a clearer shot of the anomalies and identify them, both Klein and Madison are sent into the field with a team of Delta Force operators, who are being sent to find Utah team, who went missing the day before. To capture a better image of the apparitions, Klein mounts a large version of the hyperspectral camera onto one of the armored personnel carriers. Upon arriving at the location and discovering all of Utah team has been killed, they are ambushed by the apparitions, who, being impervious to small arms fire and explosives, inflict heavy casualties before the soldiers retreat. When their vehicles are rendered inoperable by landmines, the group takes cover in an abandoned factory, where they find two children, barricaded. The apparitions attempt to follow them but are stopped by a barrier of iron shavings. The children share that their father scattered the shavings to protect his children before he was killed. The survivors make contact with the air base and a rendezvous is set up. Klein modifies the hyperspectral camera, turning it into a large searchlight, which enables the group to see the apparitions without the need for goggles. Later, he supplies the unit with IEDs laced with iron shavings. Fortified with these new weapons, the group sets out for the rendezvous point, about a half mile away from the factory. After exiting the factory, the group is chased by apparitions, who are slowed but not destroyed by the iron explosives. The group is met by reinforcements and a helicopter evac at a large abandoned plaza. However, they are ambushed by the apparitions and are barely able to escape, as the figures proceed to destroy the tanks and kill the soldiers sent as backup. In the air, they receive word from Orland the apparitions, have overrun the air base, so they are redirected to a civilian bunker controlled by the allied Moldovan military. Klein theorizes the apparitions, are likely man-made and are made of Bose-Einstein condensate, which explains their ability to move through walls, freeze people to death, and why they are halted by iron shavings and ceramic materials, hence their inability to enter tanks. Working overnight with Orland and surviving military, engineers, he constructs several makeshift pulse weapons capable of breaking down the condensate. The next morning, the remaining American soldiers are armed with the weapons and sent to a power plant in the center of the city, as Klein believes it is the only facility capable of generating the power needed to create the condensate. While the soldiers mount an offensive on the roof of the plant, Klein and Madison discover a recently abandoned laboratory inside. They deduce that scientists, working in weapons research for the former regime, were scanning humans on a molecular level and using advanced 3D printing to replicate them in condensate form. The human test subjects' brains and central nervous systems were then removed and hooked up to a central machine which keeps the condensate copies or apparitions alive. Before the apparitions emerge victorious in their battle with the soldiers, Klein activates a failsafe system, which deactivates the condensate apparitions. Believing that whatever level of consciousness remaining is in pain, he unplugs the human remains from the machine, finally giving them peace. With the apparitions gone, the US and allied Moldovan military work to continue to take control of the city from the insurgents, and a department of defense extraction team is to be sent back to the plant with the Delta Force operators to take the machinery apart and potentially use it for their own purposes. Saying goodbye to Madison and General Orland, Klein boards an aircraft to be taken back home to Virginia. Thank you for watching today's video. If you like this video be sure to smash the thumbs up, subscribe, and smash the bell for notifications so you don't miss any of our future recaps. Also leave a comment letting me know what movie or TV show you would like recapped. Have a great day.